Boosting the right wing. I made a video about boosting the Big Muff a while back, actually. Whether you should put your booster before or after the Big Muff. I highly recommend you watch that video before you watch this one. To sum up that video, if you put your booster before the Big Muff, your signal chain is gonna get a lot crispier, you'd be adding a lot of gain, but the tonality of your Big Muff is not gonna affect that much. If you place it after the Big Muff, your signal chain is gonna get a lot darker, that actually depends on how you set your booster, actually. But you're not gonna hear your harsh, crispy Big Muff tones that we all love. Instead, you're gonna hear buttery smooth dance tones, so that's that. And in this video, I will be using two pedals, an EQ, which I love, and an overdrive, which I adore, after the Big Muff. This is a transistor, transparent overdrive, so I'm not using something like Tube Screamer. It's gonna sound a lot muddier if you use a Tube Screamer type pedal. I'm gonna be using the EQ for pulse tones, and I'm gonna use this lovely box for dusk tones. Of course, you can use either way, I mean, you can use EQ for live in dusk tones, and you can use this overdrive uh, for pulse tones. I've used it, I got a lot of great tones, but I'm gonna be showing you the ideal way. This is how David Gilmore boosted. He used an EQ, and this one actually, for pulse tones, and he used an overdrive, uh, he used a tube driver, in live in dusk tones. Just a quick note before I use these to boost those bad boys. He also had an overdrive before the big muff on pulse tones, probably to get more feedback from the Sorrow intro, I think, maybe. Or to maybe get a little gain, because uh, Sotek big muff that he used on pulse tour didn't have that much gain, uh, and I'm gonna be using Green Russian for that tone, actually. And yeah, Ram's head has a lot more gain. I mean, the other one seems like an overdrive compared to that one.
now you know all the secrets. I just want to remind you that all of the tones you heard just now came from a bedroom setup. I mean, the volume is so low, I can hear my neighbor piss. It will never ever sound like David Gilmore playing on stage with six high watts and monstrous volume. This is for a bedroom setup and I think I've gotten pretty close. What do you think? I also have a Patreon account where I share detailed tone guides and uh, I share a lot of the backing tracks I use there. So I recommend you to check that.